Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Scott and today I'm going to be showing you how to do the front shocks on a C5 Corvette. Hi everybody, just before we jump into the video I just wanted to give you a little heads up that uh, the original uh, intro that I had done that introduces uh, my buddy Dan Pickle uh, he's part of our Corvette Club, the Just for Corvettes Club in Sacramento, California, and he, it's his C5 that we're going to be doing the shocks on. And he volunteered to do the work and just let me film this uh, so we could put it up on uh, on the channel. So um, that piece of film just didn't, didn't work. Um, so I'm just going ahead and give you that information ahead of time, and now we're going to go ahead and jump into the video. Okay, so what we're going to be doing, it's hard to see it up here, so I'll show you on this shock here. We're going to take the crescent wrench and it's slotted up on top so that you can get a crescent wrench on there. Then we're going to take our 15 millimeter wrench and we're going to loosen it. When you get to the top, it's going to end up pushing, your wrench is going to push the crescent wrench off. That's where it gets a little bit tricky. And what you have to do is you have to grab the sleeve from down here with vice grips or something. To be able to grab that sleeve so that um, you can spin the nut the rest of the way off. Uh, don't grab it too tight so you don't mar it up too bad. Um, luckily, this part up here is not part of the compression stroke of the uh, uh, shock. So luckily, even if it does get marred up a little bit, it's not going to affect the performance of the shock at all. So... We'll try and catch it up here. There's where I'm slotted. And there we go. As you can see, unfortunately, you don't really have much room to spin your wrench. We switched over to a pair of dikes um, that we can just reach in there and grab that shaft from underneath the rubber boot there. So hopefully you guys can see this. We've got the uh, we got the upper bolt uh, loose. Um, this one was temperamental to say the least, but we got it off. Um, now what we've done is um, we've got the jack back underneath here, and we're going to lift it back up to take the pressure off, and it'll help compress the jack or the shock itself. Um, and then um, we'll try to get it out of the hole. If it doesn't want to come out, if, it, if the shock was still had enough pressure on it and it just is too hard to get out, we'll, we'll use some wire ties and we'll actually strap the, uh, the shock into the compressed um, shape, uh, into the compressed, um, what am I trying to say, position, and then we'll drop the shock out. Um, so, and on the other side, same thing, deep socket from the bottom. It's 13 millimeters on both sides, top and bottom. All right, so insulation is exactly 
opposite of reverse, or of removal. So we're gonna take this uh, shaft here, put it in through the rubber boot. Then we wanna try and compress it upward, which it will not do. There we go. So basically what I did is I took the bottom, put it right where the bolts are going to go in. Now I have room to compress the top and get it in to the rubber, up, rubber bushing up on top. Now we should be pretty much golden. One thing they do got to make sure is they put the uh, rubber boot back over to the top as well as the metal washer. So that way, when you're tightening that bolt, it can go up against that metal washer. That's nice. On the C6, there's, I, I, what I understand on the C6, there's a little bit of room up there so you can actually uh, do it without having to remove the tank, the coolant tank or the reservoir tank. But on the, on the C5, if you're going to go from the top, then you're going to have to remove the, the windshield washer wiper on one side and you'll have to remove the radiator coolant tank to be able to get to these spots. So. This is kind of a, you know, a necessary evil here, um, but saves you some money. It is a little bit more work, um, but, uh, you know, again, you're not going to be without, you're not going to have this, this tool sitting in your toolbox somewhere that you're probably never going to use again.
helpful. And if so, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell so you'll be notified of our next uploads. Thanks for watching and you have a great night.